You know what the Lord is saying? Keep your integrity and do not compromise. Amen? Let me say it again. Keep your integrity and do not compromise. Amen? Amen. And we have a sample in the Bible. People that kept integrity and did not compromise. Amen? Hallelujah. And we have a sample to the those that did not keep the integrity, did not keep the integrity and compromise. Amen. There's, everything is in the word of God, you know. We already established the God speak to us through his words here in the Bible. Amen. And for our benefit, we have to listen. Okay. Then. Let me say again what he's saying right now. Keep your integrity and do not compromise. Amen. We understand what that means. Okay. Amen. Right? Hallelujah. Let's go to the book of Daniel. Um, chapter 3. Amen. Daniel chapter 3. This is the story of the king Nebuchadnezzar. He he made an image of God and want the holy body that live in the kingdom to bow down to the image. Okay. And he made a decree. The holy body and the sound of, of trumpet and a musical instrument that was supposed to bow down to the image of God that the king Nebuchadnezzar made. Amen. Hallelujah. But we're going to read part of the story, you can read the whole chapter 3 and you see it for yourself, okay? We're going to start in verse 8, Daniel chapter 3, verse 8. There you know Daniel the prophet, Amen. okay? And these are the friends of Daniel. They find themselves in this predicament, okay? Verse 8 says, Therefore, at the time, certain champions came forward and accused the Jews. Amen? And accused. They always as an accuser. Amen? <laughs> Hallelujah. You know? That's the business of the devil. And the devil use human beings too. Like the same way God used us, the devil used people. They allow themselves to be used by the devil. Okay? They have things that the devil can use in their life. Amen? Very nice. They spoke and said to King Nebuchadnezzar, O king, live forever. You, O king, have made a decree, made a decree that everyone who hears the sound of the horn, flute, harp, lyre, and psaltery, and symphony, with all kinds of music, of music, shall fall down and worship the gold image. You hear that? Bow down. You know, that's what's going on right now. People are bowed down to all kinds of things. You know, idols. You know, the, let's see idols, anything that you put before God. Mm -hmm. That's idol. Idol can be your job. In this case, yeah, the, your possessions can be your idol. But in this case, the king made a gold image, a gold image. And want everybody to bow down to the image. Okay? Hallelujah. Verse 11. And whoever does not fall down and worship shall be cast into the midst of burning fire furnace. Yes. <laughs> Are you a fire uh, uh, around you because you follow me, God? You obey in God? Because you haven't bowed down to this, the system of this world? Come on. Maybe it's a fire in your life. And the fire because you haven't bowed down to the system of this world. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Shall be cast into the midst of burning fire furnace. Hmm. There are certain Jews whom you have set over the affair of the province of Babylon, Shadra, Mecha, and Abednego. These men, O king, have not paid due regard to you. They do not serve your gods or worship the gold image. 
will you have set up? Then Nebuchadnezzar, enraged and fury, gave the command to bring Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. So they brought this man before the king. Nebuchadnezzar spoke, saying to them, It is true, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that you do not serve my God or worship to the gold image. You see the pressure right there? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that you do not serve my God or worship the gold image which I have set up. You see the pressure right there? Mm -hmm. You see, this means they're not following everybody else. But the pressure comes. Mm -hmm. You see, when you living for God, you're going to have pressure. Okay? Because this world system is under the sway, is under the power of Satan. Amen. And they're going to put pressure on the believers. Man. And that's why God saying to us, keep your integrity, do not compromise. Verse 15 says, Now, if you are ready at that time, you hear the sound of the horn, flute, harp, lyre, and psaltery, and symphony. We all count on music, and you fall down and worship the image which I have made good, but if you do not worship, you shall be cast immediately. Okay? You will cast immediately into the midst of a burning fire furnace. And who is the God who will deliver you from my hands? You see, right now, he's not messing with men, he's messing with God. Okay? Because he is saying, who is the God who will deliver you from my hands? The direct assault against God. You follow with God and you doing the will of God and something can against you and not only against you, it's against God. And the dynamic change right there, don't mess with God. Sometimes people think they're messing with you, but they're messing with God. Amen? So that's what these guys, they weren't afraid because they trust in God. Verse 16, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O oh, Nebuchadnezzar, we have no need to answer you in this matter, you see, trusting in God. Sometimes we, have, we keep our mouth shut. You know, sometimes we don't need to defend ourselves. Right. We don't need to explain ourselves either. Amen. You know, with God, when you follow with God, and you and the mission that God had given you, given you, and the vision, you don't need to answer to people. They're not going to understand. That's right. Okay. Let them talk. You don't need to answer. Verse 17 says, if that is the case, pay attention to this verse, if that, that verse 17, if that is the case, our God whom we serve, you see, there were confidence in God. Amen. Are you confident in your God? Amen. Are you confident in Jesus? Hallelujah. Are you serving Him? Amen. If you serve Him, you have to be confident no matter what. Okay. Our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fire furnace. Hallelujah. <laughs> and he will deliver us. And he will deliver us from Johan O King. Hallelujah. You see his confidence. Their confidence was in God, not in themselves. Yes. They they knew they knew they don't have no power in themselves. Yeah. He was the king. But you know, we were serving the king of kings. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Verse 18. 
but it not let it be known to you. Let it be known to you, O King, that we do not serve you, God. You see, who you gonna serve? Amen. We're not gonna serve the, the, the system of this world. Come on. If you are believing, you have to say, I'm not gonna serve you. Doesn't matter. Amen. Raise up the, 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 the heat. It doesn't matter. I'm serving God. Amen. And He's able to deliver me. Hallelujah. That we do not serve you, God, nor we worship the gold image which you have set up. Hmm. Do you hear that? Nah. They're not bowed down. You know, the king was enraged. They were getting enraged when you not follow the system of this world. You're trusting in God. Amen. You know. You know, not because we serve in God, things are going to be easy. Or you're not going to have pressure or persecution. But you're going to have. But the thing is, you're going to keep your integrity. You're not, you're not compromise. That, that, that's the question right there. Amen. These, these men, they were in, in great pressure. Everybody was bowed down. And plus that. Now, they're in this situation. If you don't bow down, you're going to the fire furnace. There's a situation. You have to make a choice. They made a choice. We're going to serve God. Hallelujah. We're not going to bow down. Come on. We're not, not going to worship your image. We're not going to worship the God of this world and his sister. Amen? Amen. You can read the whole chapter and you see how they were delivered by God. Okay? From the fire. And they come out the fire. And not even they smell a smoke. Hallelujah. They went to the fire, but they come out of the fire. You see, when you go through things because you're serving God, and then God delivers you from that, your faith gets strong. Amen. Okay? And the thing is here is why is this a sign that we see for ourselves? People went through things. Because they were serving God. And they didn't bow down because of the pressure. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. They did not compromise. Read the whole chapter. Okay. Don't compromise. Do not compromise. You know, this is a great hour that we are living in. Okay. We born for such a time as this. Amen. It doesn't matter the pressure. Because if you do compromise the great work of God, it's not going to be accomplished in your life. Amen. We're here for a purpose. That's right. To serve God. Amen. We are here in a mission. Mission from God. And we're going to encounter pressure. We're going to encounter persecution. Or we're going to suffer persecution. But we're going to decide if we want to keep our integrity. We're not going to compromise or what? You see the sample to speak. It wasn't an easy thing. The life were in danger. The life were in danger. The lives were in danger. And you see, they were confessing the anagony, bowed down, but they went thrown to the fire. Yeah. They were delivered by God, but even if God was chose to not deliver them, they not deny God. 
because they went to the fire. They didn't start crying, hey, no, 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 no. They went to the fire. They went through to the, the furnace. They went through. You are going to allow your circumstances to deny God. Your circumstances to compromise your life in Christ. Or you call. It's anything. We all go through things. We all experience uh, negative things in life. But we have to choose. To whom we serve. Come on. These guys, these men, they choose. We serve God. Amen. That your decision, King, the decision to throw us in the fire, our decision to serve God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Mm. Not compromise Amen. the great work of God doing in your life and through your life. Yes. Amen. Guess what is compromise? Compromise to spoke or reveal to an authorized person, especially to an enemy. Just when we compromise, we open the door to the enemy to destroy what God's doing in our life and through our life. Let me explain it this way, simple way. I was a police officer. And sometimes we have a mission. And the mission that, that a group had, uh, I used to work in a special group all the time, and we have a mission. And nobody else can know the mission, only the people that was in that group. Okay? If we tell anyone about that mission, we compromise the mission because we don't know what that person is going to do. Even if, even if that person was another police officer. He can tell someone, and then the mission will be compromised. Or will be compromised. You see what we're talking about? So when we now walk according to God's will, we compromise the word of the kingdom in our life and the thing God's doing through our life. You understand? You understand? So, you know, sometimes we, we cannot even say anything to nobody. No, a closer friend, no, a relative, what we were doing. Because we don't want to compromise the mission. So even our lifestyle had to change. Because our lifestyle can, can compromise the mission. That's right. If a lifestyle and according to God's will, compromise the missions, compromise the kingdom. Amen. Remember, the kingdom in you, the, the power of the kingdom that God's doing in you and through you is compromised with a lifestyle and according to God's will. Amen. Amen. You understand that? Amen. Proverbs 11. Verse 3. The integrity of their rights will guide them. You see the important the integrity? But the perversity of the unfaithful will destroy them. You see, integrity is important. Amen. If we don't walk in integrity, destroy our life. That's right. Remember, we here in this world we will not belong here. We're in a mission. Amen. Okay. We're in a mission here. We are representative of the kingdom of God. 
we are representative of the kingdom of God. We are ambassador for Christ here in this earth. And not compromise. Keep your integrity. Amen. Okay. Don't allow the system of this world swallow you and touch you. May you to change the course that God has already set up for you. The God of this world is Satan. He is the God of this world. And he used many tactics to attack the believers. Or to derail the believers. To make, make the believers change course. He used intimidation, seduction. And when then when those intimidation when and seduction don't work. He put the fire on you. He attacked you for every corner. For every side. You cannot be ignorant for Satan devices. Yeah. Okay. You have to be wise. You have to respond to God in obedience. That keep us safe. From Satan devices. Okay. Remember, Satan is walking like a roaring lion, seeking who might devour. Amen. Amen. Be wise. You went through things, keep the integrity. <laughs> keep the vision. Do not compromise, do not compromise the mission. Amen. We are here in a mission from God, Amen. from the kingdom of God. Amen. For the kingdom of God. For the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. Thy soldiers sent to a war and a mission. That's what we are. Job chapter 27. Are you familiar with, with this book? Amen. Oh, this the man suffer. But you know, the Lord said that this man was a just and a righteous man. But how much a person can take? <laughs> Job 27. Verse 5 and 6. Far be it from me that I should say you are right. Till I die, listen to this. Till I die, I will not put away my integrity from me. You see? All these things that, that the men are going through. He said, I will not put away my integrity. Amen. Did you, whatever you went through, you're going to keep the integrity? Amen. Look at this sample, this man. You might say, you don't know what I'm going to. God knows what you're going to. He's trusting him. Amen. He's trusting his grace. 
remember what Paul was going through things and he was praying to God to deliver him for whatever he was going through. The Lord said to him, my grace is sufficient for you. My grace is sufficient for you. You know, because in our witness, God made us strong. Amen. Because we trust in Him. You know, the grace is the power of God for us. Let's look at you here. Going through all those things, far be it from me that I should say you are right. Till I die, I will not put away my integrity from me. From me. Till I die, I will not put away my integrity from me. You see? My righteousness, I hold fast. You see? I will not let it go. <laughs> huh? What a confession. See? What a confession. You know, that's what is written here that we can see the, the people, men went to things, but they remain confident in God. They keep in the middle of all their predicament, they keep the integrity. They, they, they remain in the righteousness. This man will do a lot. Look at what he said. Till I die, will not put away my integrity from me. My right tenants are hold fast and will not let it go. <laughs> Don't throw the towel. Trust in God. He is righteous. Jesus is righteous. That's right. We are the righteous of God in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You see, that's a great confession right there. Amen. He was going to think, he was confessing, I keep my integrity. He was going to think. My righteousness I hold fast until I die. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> you see, it was going to things, awful things. Hmm. Amen. But we, you know, God. I have this example that people they hold the integrity. People did not compromise, but we have a sample the people that they compromise. People that they didn't keep the integrity. We have a sample here in the Bible. We have one, we're gonna use one, that's what the Holy Spirit highlight to me to use the sample. But we use it. This sample Allah saw, so, King Saul. <laughs> Saul so compromised. He sure did. He did, right? He compromised. God gave him a mission. God gave him a mission. He did not accomplish that, the mission of God. He did it in his way. Not the way God told him to do it. You know, that's compromise. Okay. We have to do things the way God told us to do. Yeah. If we don't do it the way He's telling us to do it, we compromise. Compromise in the kingdom. We're compromising our life, our call, our righteousness. Everything we compromise. But we don't obey God. We don't think, do things the way God's telling us to do. 
It's important that you hear from God to do something, do it just the way He's telling you to do it. Amen. And when He's telling you to do it. You know, Saul, he compromised his future and the purpose of God for his life. He compromised everything. His kingdom. His kinship. He did. Because he was disobedient. He thought he was obedient. And he did not. Because he did it, he did it the way God told him to do it. Partial obedience and disobedience. Yeah. Understand that. Partial obedience and disobedience. And like light, there's no white light and black light. Light is light. Amen? Righteousness, righteousness, and unrighteousness, unrighteousness. Amen. And the word of God said, all sins is unrighteous. We're dealing with God and the kingdom. Okay, we are believers. We have to do things the way God wants us to do, or Amen. the ways of the kingdom, not the way of, of the system of this world. That we know who is the who is the who is the ruler of the system of the world, Satan. Amen. We want to agree with God or with Satan. Yes. Then there's no way around. If we don't agree with God, we compromise yeah. the mission and the purpose of the kingdom and our life. We can read the story of, of, of Saul in 1 Samuel chapter 15, that story about when he compromised. 1 <laughs> Samuel chapter 15, you can read this. Read it. That we compromise when we don't follow God's direction. Amen. When we not follow God's direction, we compromise. Okay. We, we compromise the missions that God gave for our life. The things of the kingdom. It's a bridge right there. It's like we say, don't open the door, okay? It's a, it's a bridge right there. It's a hole that the enemy can go in, infiltrate in our life, mm -hmm. and cause damage in our life. Amen? Amen. The mission that our Heavenly Father gives to you or me we cannot compromise for personal agenda Amen. or comfort and convenience. Amen. Amen. How many people they compromise the mission of God because comfort, convenience? Personal agenda, pleasure. We got example, great example. We have to follow the example, the example of our Lord Jesus. He gave us example. Yeah. He did not compromise the mission and the vision the Father gives him. He keeps his integrity. And he always says, I'm here to do the will of my Father. Amen. He always says, I didn't came in my own. <laughs> we have to follow his example. We're not here in our own. Amen. We are in a mission from the Father. Okay. We don't live for ourselves. 
we live for him. Amen. We got the grace of God to help us. We have the new nature, the nature of God. We have the Holy Spirit, our helper. Amen. We have the word of God. Amen. Matthew chapter 4. Let's see. Matthew chapter 4. You see, the devil always around. Try to derail you. Try to make you to compromise the mission that God has given you. Remember what Jesus said? Be a good cheer. I overcome the world. Amen. He said that. We can overcome too. Through him. Yeah. Amen. Matthew chapter 4. The start verse 12. Amen. Then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. You see, this is going to start his mission and now he's being attacked by the devil. <laughs> you know, temptation is attack. But it's up to you. You're going to fall under the temptation or you're going to hold your integrity or keep your integrity. You're not going to compromise. Remember, temptation is attack. It's up to you. You fall. You know, while we're here in this world, we're going to be tempted for many things, but it's up to you. <laughs> you decide you want to fall or you want to fall in the temptation. God gives you a power the new nature is, is enough. The new nature is not to say no to the Amen. temptation. Come on. The, our new nature, the nature that from our Father, it's enough to tell not to the devil. Amen. Not to the system of this world. That's right. The new nature is enough. Okay. Matthew 4, verse 1. Then Jesus was led, led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. <laughs> you know? He was led by the Spirit. Jesus, right? But he was tempted by the devil. Listen to this. Listen to this. You know, God sent you, right? God sent you. And then came the devil to destroy you, to handle you, you see, to derail you. Do you see this? You've been sent by God in a mission. You've been sent by God in a mission. Then the devil came. <laughs> You see? And then you think that, that, but you think, oh, it wasn't God who sent me. No, God sent you, but the devil came. Because it's always around to destroy you. you remember, he's the enemy. He wanted to destroy the, the, the mission. He wanted to derail you from the mission or stop you to accomplish that mission. Did you see? Did you see it? The Jesus was led, listen, Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be, to be tempted by the devil. And we have fasted 40 days and 40 nights afterward, he was hungry. Now, when the tempter came to him, he said, if you are the Son of God, command that this stone become bread. That's it. That's what happened, you know, to all of us. You're in a situation that they will come enticing you to make you to change your course, to make you to choose between God 
of this world of the power of the devil. Between God on your own effort. And did the things of God all on the natural things. But you choose. You want to keep the integrity? Amen. Yeah. You want to compromise? Remember with the Hebrews and Daniel, where you got, <laughs> you see? When you go through things, the devil speak to you and say, where did you got? When you go through things, But he answered and said, Jesus answered, it is written, men shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceed from the mouth of God. Amen. You see, bread, even you need bread, it's a natural thing. But God's word is supernatural. Amen. It changes the situation. Yes, sir. Trust in God. Hold, hold, hold on, like, like, like Joseph, I hold on until I die. I will hold to my righteousness. Then the devil took him up into the holy city, set him on the pinnacle of the temple, and said to him, If you are the son of God, to yourself that for his written, he shall give angel child over you. And in the hand they shall bear you up, let you dash your foot against a stone. And Jesus said to him, It is written again, You shall not tempt the Lord your God. Amen. Hallelujah. You cannot be presumptuous, right? And Jesus, He said, You know, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm not going to thank God. You know, don't do the, I'm going to do this because God is with me. Are you sure God's telling you to do it? And why are we going to thank God if we know something we're not supposed to do? Why are we going to thank God doing something we know, we know it is written that we're not supposed to do? Then we will say, oh, let go will repent. No, they don't work like that. You see? We don't go put our in the hands of the enemy. That's right. You see, that's what, that's what you just say, I'm going to put my, put my in your hands. <laughs> Verse 8 Again the devil took him up on a ceiling high mountain. You know, the devil is relentless. And show him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory. You see, all the things of this world. You want this, you want that. The loss of the eyes, the pride of life. And he said to him, All these things, and the devil, speaking to Jesus, I will give you, and you will fall down and worship me. You keep your position, you, you're okay, you're worshiping, you're doing little things. That's the little song. There's nothing. It's okay. It's compromising. You could have bow down to the system of this world. Bow down to the system too. 
of this world and put ourselves in the hands of the enemy. That's right. For pleasure, for things. Verse 11. Verse 10. Then Jesus said to him, Away with you, Satan, for it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him only you shall serve. Hallelujah. Amen? Only him. Amen? Amen. You see? Then the devil led him, and behold, angels came and ministered to him. You see, the devil left. For a time, we not get away for a time, the devil left. You always around to see how he can get you. You know, we have to really, really, really get rid of everything in our life that the devil can use against us. You know, it's going to be around all the time. So it's not that we all put ourselves in, in his hands. But don't allow ourselves to put in his hand, ourselves in his hands. Okay? Do not compromise. Amen. He's always around. He's our enemy. He wants to destroy what God has done in our life. He wanted to Start off for accomplish the missions that we are here and use every trick in his sleep. He used it against Jesus, but Jesus can fall for it. You know, God gave a power, did you know the power is in the new nature? Amen. That's the power right there in the new nature. And that new nature is enough to Amen. say no to the enemy. Come on. See? You see, our Father communicates with us through our new nature. Okay? That new nature from our Father, from our Heavenly Father. Look, look, at, look at this. We got the new nature. We are new creature, new nature, born from God. Okay. We got the Holy Spirit, a helper. We've been baptized in the Spirit of the Living God. It's power right there too. Amen. We have the we got the Word of God. Amen. Amen. And we, we see that example. Jesus is our example. We have to follow Jesus. Remember Jesus, Jesus said, follow me. Me, follow my example. Yeah. That's what he said. Okay, follow me. Follow my example. And Jesus did not compromise. We see it. He did not compromise. He walked in this area. He always said it well, from his own mouth. I'm here for a mission. God, my father, send me here and I'll do the will of my father. I don't came to do my will. I came to do the will of my Father. Okay? And nothing in this earth deterred him from that will of the Father. Amen. And it was accomplished. That's our example. That nothing deterred us from the will of our Father for our life until we get out of this world. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. We got help. Amen. We got help. Amen. Okay. You know, do not compromise the great commission. What is the great commission? Jesus said it. Go and preach the gospel. It's the main mission. For every believer, okay. If we don't preach the gospel, 
people don't get saved. Remember that. You can do all things, all kind of things, but if we don't preach the gospel, people don't get saved. Amen. Church that you can do in your church, all kind of activity, all kind of programs, by the gospel, is not preached. People don't get saved. But we cannot substitute that for programs. Program is okay, but you're preaching the gospel. Amen? Amen. Let's, let's read the, the Great Commission Mark 16. So that we don't forget, okay? People talk about too much revelation, but the thing that the God say, they forget about it. Mark 16, verse 15 and 16. Amen? Are you there? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Verse 15. Amen? And he said to them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel. Preach what? The gospel. The gospel. To every Christian, he who believes and is baptized will be saved. Amen? Amen. But we have to preach, right? Amen. But the who does not believe will be condemned. Amen? Because we, we need to continue. Okay, and this great commission. Be focused. Amen. You're not focused on this, you're being compromised. If you see if you say this is not important, you already compromised. Yeah. Because this is the mission. That that this the the focus. That's the priority. This is the priority. To go and preach the gospel. To bring more sons and daughters to glory. Amen. To people get saved. To people come to the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. And for that, we have to keep our integrity and do not compromise. Because we don't keep our integrity. And we go with our own life, doing whatever we want. We can accomplish God's will and why we're here. Amen. Because really, that's what we're here as believers. That's what God needs us here. Amen. <laughs> to continue expanding His kingdom, establishing His kingdom, wherever we go. Because the kingdom is within us. And we and wherever we go, the king go with us. And the kingdom. Hallelujah. And what what is the priority of the kingdom? Preach the gospel. To save people. Amen. That's what the gospel is preached. No, for us in the church to have fun inside, and that's it. Play around in church. That's not the purpose. If we focus on ourselves, we already compromise. Me, 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 self, 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 self. Let's have fun. And the whole world perishing. Because the church that want to have fun. They already compromise. They already say bridge right there. The enemy already take hold. Careful. Let's wake up. Amen. Be focused. Man, be focused. Don't allow the system of this world swallow you, derail you, detour you for the main purpose. 
Amen. Amen. The grace of God is available. If you take the Father, we thank you for your strength, for your grace, for your wisdom, for your guidance, Father. Thank you, Father, that you are with us. Father, thank you for protecting us and thank you for your love and mercy, Father. That we continue walking in your way and with you and glorify you with our life, Father. And keep our acts and the mission and the purpose that we are here. We thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.